Nine hundred basic English conversational sentences. Lesson thirty-two: Making appointments. Dialogue one. Hi, I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes, today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available now. Okay, thanks. Dialogue two. When could we meet to discuss the project? I will be available on Monday or Tuesday. Choose which day is best for you. I prefer Monday. Good. Can you come in the morning, or would afternoon be best? Either one is okay. Great. When I check with the others, I will send you an exact time. Okay. See you later. Lesson thirty-three: Talking about daily activities. Dialogue one. <laughs> Jack, do you have a hobby? Sure, I read books. Oh, I like books as well. Do you watch TV? Yes, I watch TV every day. I like drama and comedy programs. I like the news, and I go to the gym as well. Me too. Let's go together. That sounds great. Dialogue two. Hello. What are you doing? I always go running in the mornings. Do you go running every day of the week? I usually run from Monday to Friday. I wish I could go running, but I have to work. Are you going to my birthday party next Sunday? Of course I will. Okay. See you soon. See ya. Have a good day. Lesson thirty-four: Talking about past activities. Dialogue one. James, tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? I went to Clearwater. It's a lovely coastal city located in Florida. What did you do? We got around the islands by cruise, which was an amazing experience for us because we all like sightseeing. That's great. Dialogue two. I telephoned you yesterday afternoon, but you didn't answer. Where were you? I was in another room when you called. I didn't hear the phone ringing until it was too late. What were you working on? I was photocopying a report that I needed to send to a client. Why did you phone me? I was looking for Tom and couldn't find him. Do you know where he was? Tom was driving to a meeting. Oh, I see. What did you do yesterday? I had a meeting last morning. In the afternoon, I worked on the report and was just finishing when you telephoned. What did you do? Well, at nine, I had a meeting with the teacher. Sounds like a boring day. Yeah, right. Lesson thirty-five: Talking about future activities. Dialogue one. Hello, Susie. How are you? I am fine. What about you? I am fine too. I am very glad about your brilliant result in the final examination. Would you please tell me about your future plan for life? Yes, I have already made up my mind to study law. I see. But why do you want to study law? Is there any specific reason? Yes, of course. I would like to join politics after completing my studies. I want to be a famous lawyer. I believe you will succeed. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. See you again. Dialogue two. What are you going to do next semester? 
I'm going to study in London. For how long? Well, I was thinking two years at least. Great, I thought about something like that too, but I'm going to New Zealand. Nice. Lesson 36. Talking about studies. Dialogue 1. How was your last examination? The English paper was fairly easy. Have you done it well? I think I have. How was your mathematic paper? It was rather tough, but I knew some of the answers fairly well. You look rather tired. Yes, I've had a rather bad cold. I think you should take a rest. I will, thanks. Dialogue 2 You look worried. Is there any problem? You can share it with me. Actually, I am worried about my exams. There's only one week left for it. And I think I have not studied anything. I'm feeling nervous. Oh, just focus on your studies and you won't face any problems. That's the problem. I can't concentrate. These all happened to me too. And hence, I started meditating. It had a radical effect on my concentration power. Thank you so much for your advice. I will surely follow it. Okay then, bye. I'll meet you soon. Bye bye. Lesson 37, talking about families and relatives. How many people are there in your family? There are four people in my family. My father, my mother, my brother, and me. What does your father do? My father is a doctor. How old is your mother? She is 43 years old, two years younger than my father. What's your brother's name? His name is Jordan. He is still single. Does your family usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. My mother always prepares delicious meals for us. So, you were gone visiting your grandpa last weekend? Yep. My grandfather must be in his late 80s, and he's very active. Wow, that's great. What about your grandma? She's a very sprightly old woman, too. In fact, my grandparents from my mother's side are pretty healthy and active themselves. That's really good to hear. So happy for you. Oh, thanks. Lesson 38. Identifying people and objects. Dialogue 1. Have you met the new girl? No, have you? She's one of the prettiest girls at the school. What does she look like? Well, she's quite tall. What about her facial features? The first thing I noticed were her beautiful brown eyes. I think I might have bumped into her before. Are you telling me that you've seen her before? I believe so. Dialogue 2 Can you identify the car? It was a big car. I think it was a Tata Sumo. Are you sure? What was its color? Yes, it was a Sumo, and it was olive green. Can you remember the number of the car? No, I am sorry. It happened so quickly. I wasn't looking at the number. Lesson 39. Describing people and objects. Who is your best friend? Alice is my best friend. What does she look like? She has black round eyes and shoulder length black hair. She has a cute smile. How did you meet her? She is next to my house. You know, we've been close since childhood. I see her every day. We study in the same class. What is her personality like? She is very simple and sociable, so she is loved by many friends. She often helps and encourages me when I'm sad. Do you and her have anything in common? Yes, a lot. We both enjoy going to the coffee shop and reading books. 
Does she know how to cook? Yes, she is a very good cook. I usually eat what she cooks when my mother is not at home. Why is a friend important in life? Having a friend helps you to avoid loneliness. Share with you the little things in life. Lesson 40. Asking somebody to do something. Dialogue 1. Help me! I need a doctor! What is the problem, sir? My wife is on the floor. Sir, please calm down. Take a deep breath. I need some help, right now! Sir, I'm going to put you through to 911. Hurry, please! Stay calm, sir, and talk clearly. Dialogue 2 I need your help. What do you need? You do know I'm getting ready to move, right? I remember you telling me. Do you mind helping me move in? Sure, that shouldn't be a problem. When? Are you busy this Saturday? I don't think I have any plans. How does 10 a.m. sound to you? Saturday at 10? I can do that. Lesson 41. On the campus. Maria? Oh, Laura, Linda, good morning. Whoa, you look stunning today. Thanks. What do you think? Does it look good? Perfect. It fits you, and you look very pretty in it. I agree. It really suits you. Why do you want to buy a dress anyway? I'm going to my brother's 27th birthday party, and I want to look my best. Great. Would you like to have lunch with us? Well, what shall we eat? How about eating pizza? There's a new store near the school that just opened and is having a sale. Sounds great! Let's go together. Lesson 42. In the library. I want to borrow some books. You cannot borrow some books. You can borrow only one book at a time. I want the book to kill a mockingbird. Mmm, let me check. Is it available, ma'am? Yes, it's available. Where is it? It's on the third shelf in the extreme corner. Shall I take the book? Where is your old book? Here it is. What is the name of the book? Shakespeare's Hamlet. What's the due date? I think it's 25th April. What's the date today? Today is the 27th of April. You must pay the fine then. Sorry, ma'am. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.